Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video, we're gonna be talking about how to check if a property exists inside of an object. Now, before we do that, check out our sponsor. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career-centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. Now this is actually a very simple process. Basically what we're gonna do is go down here in the bottom and this is the code we've been writing throughout this series. You can copy it and get it up to speed if you don't have it, but it's not a huge deal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're just going to do a console log and we'll say name in teacher. So we're gonna check if the teacher object here has a name property, which we know it does, but this is how you can programmatically check that. Then we'll just put a comma, and what you're going to do is you're going to put the property in quotes, so we'll say name, and then you say in, and then the object name, teacher, like so. Do a refresh, and look at this, name and teacher, true. Now another similar way of doing this is to do a test, such as, con we'll just do it inside of a console log again, and we'll say teacher.name equal to undefined. And then what we'll do is we'll say the same question. When we do a refresh, we get false. That's because we're checking to see if it's undefined. So what we need to do is we actually need to invert the whole thing. So to do that, you can put an exclamation mark here instead of the first equals. Now it says true. So now you're basically saying if teacher name is not undefined. So the way this really works is it will look at the teacher object, which we will output right here and it'll check to see if it has a property name, and it does, so it returns the value. But if for some reason it does not exist, here's what's gonna happen. So we'll do refresh. It's going to search that object. Taco does not exist, so it'll look in the prototype. Oh, no taco there, it'll look in the prototype. Uh, no taco there. So it ran out of prototype, so then it'll just return undefined. So that is how you check an object for a property. Hopefully that'll help you in your programming experience, and I'll see you guys in the next video.